I hope you are fine and safe at home. We'll see the next chapter today for the fifth standard from the book Mary Gold. Unit 3, the chapter name Robinson Crusoe. This is a short part of a book by author Daniel Defoe. Before we start, let me ask you a question. How would you feel if you are alone at home? Your parents are outside, your brother, sister, all are outside and you are alone at home and suddenly something happens. Like uh, suddenly at the evening time the electricity goes off. How would you feel? Sure, you will be scared, you will be afraid. The same thing happens with Robinson Crusoe. So he belonged to a middle class family. His father wanted him to work his uh, family business. But Robinson liked to travel long journeys on ships. So once when he was sailing on a ship, Robinson Crusoe's ship had been destroyed by the sea and he had been alone for many years on an island and he launched for company. One day he discovers a footprint on the sand. Let's see what he did there. One day when he, I was going towards my boat, I was surprised to see the footprint of a man on the sand. I stood amazed. I listened. I looked around me. I could neither hear nor see anything. I went up higher to look down. I went up the shore and down the shore. But it was no good. I could not find no other footprint but that one. I went to it again to see if there were any more footprints and to tell if it had been my imagination. But I was not mistaken for there was exactly the print of a foot, toes, heel, every part of the foot. I could not imagine how it came there. I stayed a long time thinking but became more and more confused. At last I returned home very frightened. Looking behind me after every two or three steps, mistaking every bush and tree to be a man. When I came to my cave, which I called my castle, I ran inside it as if I was being chased. I do not remember whether I used the ladder or went in by the hole in the rock which I called the door. I ran for cover faster than any animal could run. I did not sleep that night. The more I thought about what I had be seen, the more afraid I became. I thought it could be one of the savages of the mainland who had wandered out to the sea in a small boat. Luckily, I was not on shore at that time. But what if he had seen me, seen my boat? If he had seen the boat, he would have realized that someone lived on the island and would soon return with others to kill and eat me. And so I lay fearful for many days and prayed for protection. In doing so, I was much comforted and began going out to investigate. But even now, I, as I went forward, I looked behind me frequently. Because I was still very frightened. However, as I went about for two or three days and saw nothing, I became a little bolder. I decided 
to go down to the shore again and examine the footprint once more. I decided to measure it with my own footmark. As I came closer to the footprint, I realized that it could not be my footprint because I had not come to this part of the beach since a long time. Secondly, as I placed my foot alongside that footprint, it seemed larger than my own. My fear returned. I went up home again, believing that there was someone there. The island was inhabited. Adopted from Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe.